All right, uh, Bluff Tower Gallery, this is your old buddy Billy Jack here. I promised you a tutorial on how to use Blender to convert 3D models over to DirectX format for use in uh, Bluff Tiler, and well, this is it. Um, I'm going to do this tutorial under the assumption that you already know how to use Blender and the terminology and all that stuff. I've already preset my scene up where I've cleared the default lamp and camera and cube because all we're going to do is do a conversion. We don't need all that stuff. What I will tell you is if you've never used Blender before, uh, it is not defaulted to recognize DirectX format, so you will have to set it up to do that. And to do that, you simply go under your file menu to uh, user's preferences. In the upper left-hand corner, type in DIR, and it'll pop up import, export, DirectX, X format. It has a little box over here on the upper right-hand corner. Make sure you put a check mark in that. Drop down to the lower left corner, click on Save User Settings, and then close the window. Because you saved the settings, you won't have to do that step again. Blender will remember it every time you log on. Now, okay, another thing that's a nice little feature in Blender is down here in the lower left-hand corner, I have a screencast key. And what that basically is, is any button I push, either on my mouse or command on my keyboard, it shows you what I actually hit. Great for tutorials if uh, I forget to tell you what button I push to do a function, which happens quite a bit. You can always look down there and see what I've done. Okay, now for our tutorial. Today I went online and I downloaded a little 3DS uh, spaceship model. It has uh, nine different models to make up this scene. And underneath those, it has multiple um, <laughs> materials, as you can see. Some of them are shared materials, or shared, shared materials, uh, like this material 113. I saw it a couple of times when I was in here earlier looking at it. Yeah, there it is again. Uh, this, as a combined group, can cause problems for, for Blender translating or converting. Uh, you don't always. You could literally go in here and select all of it and tell it to file export as DirectX, but you're taking a big chance in doing that when the solution's simple. Just simply go over here, pick up uh, one of the models, any one, doesn't matter which one. Go back into the model window, hit A to deselect, A to select all, hit Control J, and now you have one model just multiple, multiple uh, materials. And as you can see, it didn't change any of my color or anything like that on here. I can still select one of the colors, go down here under my properties window, and adjust the color around. Let's see, see that was the bottom of our turret there. Now in Bluff Tidler, when we import this over, these materials end up being your sub-models and they are in the order you see them right here. So one thing I like to do, just so I know what the material I'm working with, if I'm going to do any editing in Blender, I'll go over and I will actually find out what the item was, all right, and combine what I can to limit the number of materials. And another thing I like to do, once I get all my materials bound back together, is I like to hit Control and number them, because they are the same here that they will be in uh, Bluff Tidler as far as submodels go. And that way I know what to work with because when you unpack these in there in uh, Bluff Tidler, all it tells you is Pyro GX uh, uh, one in parentheses, Pyro GX two in parentheses and so on. All right, another thing I want to point out to you is in, uh, if you hit the number one on your number pad, it puts you in front mode. The way you see the model here is how it will be oriented by default when you take it into Bluff Tyler. Now this particular model looks like it's oriented pretty square to, uh, to our screen, and that's fine, but if you see what happens here when I tab out, hit rotate twice to kind of offset it, and hit tab again, if you look over here under my location and rotations, it's all still zero even though it's out of sorts, and it's really hard to orient uh, the, the uh, model in Bluff Tidler, fly it around or move it around correctly, having to guess because it was off-keyed on its orientation. 
So to fix the orientation, it's real simple. You just hit RR for rotate. You kind of get him to line up. If you're not good at doing freehand rotation, you can R and Z to rotate on the Z axis till it's how you want it and then rotate on your Y axis. You can go to top view to kind of square him up a little bit more. And that's pretty well centered. Now, if you'll notice my green line here, that's my zero line. But my between my turbines and the tip of my nose, even though I'm square with them, I'm not centered. So what I want to do here is I want to grab X, bring it over until they center up pretty well, or the best, you know, best I can with my eyes. Now I can go up here. Oh, first I move my cursor, so I want to hit Shift S and move my cursor to center. I want to do my front view, make sure I'm nice and square. Go to origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now see how nice and square I am now? Another thing that uh, is very helpful, if the item is symmetrical, and the reason I didn't show you this first is because a lot of models aren't symmetrical, you can hit origin to center of mass and it will center up. Then you can go over to location, hit zero, zero, zero and it's pretty well squared up it looks nice now if you notice i didn't change my rotation because i just had to fight that to get it all centered back up now that it's centered the way i want it i can hit uh control a rotation and zero the rotations now it is oriented this way and that's the way it will be oriented in bluff tyler okay Looks good. We got a lot of things going on positive here, but here's another place that really will mess you up. If you tab out, you know, it looks like all the vertices are selected, but just to make sure, we're going to hit A to D select, A again to select all. Then we're going to go over here and remove doubles. 10,032 verticals that were laying on top of each other. If it's laid over the top of each other just the wrong way, it can make a whole face disappear. So when you import it into Bluff Tidler, you're missing a whole panel. That's part of the reason why. Another reason why, if we go down and go into face mode, go over to our navigation bar over here, scroll down till we see our normals, click on the faces, increase those till we can actually see them. See all the little blue lines facing outward? Well, that is the direction the normals are facing. Let's take this normal here, for example, and click on flip direction here. Hit A, A again. Now see the hair, the little blue hair is pointing inwards. If I took this into bluff title as is, this face would disappear. You couldn't see it. So what we do to correct that is we hit A to deselect, A to select all, and tell it to recalculate, and Bluff or Blender will recalculate everything for you. It's not perfect. Sometimes they do mess up because, like, there were nine models in this thing, and we just kind of jammed them all together instead of forming the model out of one shell. If you go into uh, Bluff Tyler and you find a missing uh, window, you've got to go through all these steps again just to get back to that face. So what I suggest at this point is go to File and save the blender file so that you're right back here and you can simply go in if this panel was the face was wrong or the normal was wrong on it you can correct it individually without having to go through all the steps again all right we're back to one to our front mode that looks good we're going to tab out our orientation's good another thing you might want to consider is i have this in flat shading and you see all these sharp edges you can get rid of those simply by going to smooth shading and it will remember that when it exports the model now some models especially if somebody else makes it the shading type makes a big difference in how it looks this model looks okay in smooth shading but I actually like it better flat I'd rather have the rigid lines myself so I'm gonna leave it in flat shading I've got tabbed out I've removed all my doubles I've recalculated my normals I've got all my materials cleaned up into one single uh, model I think we're pretty good to go now here's gonna be something interesting I've never tried before there's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
and 14 and 15, looks like 16 sub-models that's going to be in there. I've never tried to take Bluff Tidler over 10, so this may be interesting. Now, I may have to redo my tutorial. We'll find out. Anyway, all we have to do now is go to File, Export, uh, DirectX. I'm going to stick it on my desktop, and we're going to call it Tut Mod 01 for first tutorial model, if you hadn't figured that out already. And I'm going to export uh, thing about this, you may have to go get a cup of coffee. My computer's relatively quick, so it won't take that long. But some models I've done, it's took up to 10 minutes for bl for Blender to export it. But once it snaps back to this scene, you're done. You've already saved the file, so you don't have to worry about losing your work. And that's really it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on the uh, in the gallery. Have fun. Oh, man, I almost forgot. Um, import model. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go down here. Let's see. Two mod zero one. Now, to see how tiny he is? You can resize that in Blender, but I don't. I leave them small like that. It takes up less room in my computer, and I like that way. You can always go to size, change it out. <laughs> And like I said, it looks just like it did over in Blender. Move it up forward a little bit. We can rotate it around. No blank panels, nothing missing. Our colors are there. Um, if you guys like this tutorial, let me know. And maybe later I can do one on texturing. That's a lot more complicated because you have to unwrap the model in Blender and set the UVs. And it's, it's kind of fun. But anyway, like I said, this is old Billy Jack. Hope this helps somebody out. Um, we'll see you in the gallery.